What is up dudes? Welcome back to the Barn Owl Project. Uh, today I'm going to be doing another vlog. Uh, part of the fun. Just kind of how it goes. Uh, is he dead? I think he's dead. Ah. Hey! This is not a Ricky Bobby Corner. Let's have fun. Cool. Dude, dude, dude. Do, 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 it's Ricky Bobby Corner. For today? For today. I wanna just go talk about random stuff. Randos? All the time, like, off topic and whatnot. <sighs> Oof! <laughs> that is cherry shite. So I brought him back to life. I just gotta look down at the camera. I know, my bad. I was, I'm checking everything! Making sure we in the grid well, lines. I was looking over there at the camera. I was looking at the TV too, though. Oh, okay, you weren't just talking shite about no, me. No, 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 I was looking at the TV. No, so I'm Ricky Bobby. I'm the new addition to the uh, Barn Owl Project. The do edition. The do edition. That's why his shirt's all bright yellow and limey. The do. If you don't drink Mountain Dew, you're wrong. Anyway, so I don't know. I was just going to talk about random stuff. Like, I think, how are the Rockies doing this? The Rockies are actually doing super well. Yeah, I like, okay, so like, they have Lon Arenado, who is an awesome third baseman. They have Troy Blackman, who is the most underrated player in all of the MLB. Absolutely, I love hearing that. You know, and really, because I think I was over, I think I was watching or listening to a game on the on the radio because I can't take my phone with me in the work truck. <laughs> but I was literally listening to like hit like RBI after RBI after RBI, and it's just like, how does nobody put him into the All Star voting bracket? Yet? It's it's horrific. It's, uh, it's so sad because, you know, Trevor Story having a, an all-star rookie year. All day. And, and he's super fun to watch. He, he, he really is kind of the heart of the Rockies. But, you know, you've just got a well-rounded team finally. You know, you've got, you've got LeMahieu, you've got Story, you've got Blackman, you've got Arenado. You have a set of guys who really wants to play ball, and they're young and they're hungry. It's not Todd and the toddlers anymore. It's, you know, it's not Todd Helton trying to carry the entire team. You, you finally have... You know, you freed up a lot of money with Troy Tulowitzki. Yeah, I hate to be that really guy. You really did. I'm not going to lie. I no, hate as, to be that guy. As much, as much as he was a great great um, shortstop for the Rockies, I think it's, he's a better fit in Toronto. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, well, and, and he's kind of where he's always been, which is on the DL. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right, guys, if you're Troy Tulowitzki fans, I completely understand. He was a great baseball player, and he played really hard for the Rockies. Uh, he did talk a lot of smack about the Rockies at times. Uh, and that was kind of disappointing, but, I mean, let's face it, he spent a lot of time on the DL. He really did. And uh, I think for, for my team, I'm an Indians fan. Ah. I'm an Indians fan. So, you know. Myth busted. Myth has been busted. I'm an Indians fan. And uh, so I think for me, my team, I mean, we lost the World Series last year. I'm pissed about that. In a horrific way to lose. Actually, you know what the greatest way to lose? That's, I'll give you that. It is one of the greatest ways to lose. I mean, yeah. You finally break the curse. It's, it's so heartbreaking. But like, if you're gonna lose, you're gonna go out fighting. And which is what which is what we did. But we were up three to one the series, and then we lost three straight games. And we just basically said, "Here you go, Cubs. Hey, dude, you can have this." Rockies lost four in a row to the Red Sox. That was like horrific way to lose. That's a horrific that way to lose. <laughs> like, if you're gonna show up and then get iced because you had to set so long because you stomped everyone, like that sucks. Whenever you get iced. Yeah. Had they played the Red Sox immediately? Would have been a different story. Yeah, I honestly think I honestly do think that. And I think Cleveland just flat out ran out of gas. That has to be it. I mean, you we actually have a couple of old guys too. We have. I mean, now we have Edwin Encarnacion from the Toronto Blue Jays. Yes. Which is a really great. We have. Dude, who picked him up? Like, we, like who? Like, who was, was the one that was trade? Just like, I think it was a trade. Yeah. Ooh. Oh no no he he went he was free agent. Oh free good. agent we picked like, him up. Dude, I don't care how much money that took. That was excellent. That was a great. You know, and then obviously we have Francisco Lindor at shortstop, which, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. If you put Trevor Story and Francisco Lindor up, I think Francisco Lindor beats him by absolutely, by just a little bit. Uh, Trevor Story is very, very young, uh -huh. and so you know he's he's got a lot of catching up to do. I, and I think the best part is like, which it bugs me. I'm 25. You're 25. We work at O'Reilly's. You got this awesome YouTube channel. What am I? I'm sitting at my house playing video games the entire day. Which that, that is my. You know what? Dude, if if you enjoy it, the, listen, Sean, David, you know, Felix, all those guys who, who made it work for them, then maybe maybe you're gonna be making millions on YouTube someday. Yeah. Maybe But I don't have a camera. <laughs> That's what, true. What, what do I got? Okay, now pause right here. I'm gonna walk away. 
All I got, all I got is his iPhone 7. By the way, keep comment. Fill artillery. Fill artillery. Fill artillery. Yeah! <laughs> Which tells you about how effective field artillery is. <laughs> hey, what was the call sign again? What was the call sign? Lightning 35 is in the package. Yes, we need our ammo over. Did you say you needed a patch what of he, camo? What did he say? <laughs> what did he say? Oh, I was. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am actually in the United States Army. I'm in the Army National Guard. Support that boy. And, uh, yeah, we just actually. Fun fact, I don't know if I told you this, but my guys, they were in Kuwait for a year. Oh, yeah, that's, you, were, you they mentioned came, it briefly. They, they came back yesterday. Good. They came back yesterday, so I, I got the text from, like, Torres, and he's just like, yeah, oh, Torres is a Hispanic dude. Bro, what? bro, dude, bro, dude, bro, bro. <laughs> totally just came back from Kuwait, bro. We gotta chill, bro. You gotta come to Boulder, man. There's gonna be so many hot college chicks, bro. We're gonna get wasted. Torres, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're sitting there going the entire time like, buddy, I'm, I'm 25. Maybe. Literally, literally, it's just like, I'm 25. Maybe I should be hitting on chicks over 21. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the girl I'm talking to is 20. You know what, dude? I'm just, that, that's she's just, out of her teens. She is, she is <laughs> Listen, homie, teens. if you're hitting on an 18-year-old and you're 26... you got different plans ahead of you. Yeah, dude. man, you need to... You need to get something done with your life. Yeah, because, uh... Dad. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So, my dad was a recruiter. My dad was an armor recruiter. Oh, let me scoot back so I'm in the frame. My dad was an armor recruiter, right? And this is basically how he met my mom. My mom came in to do an ASVAB, and she wanted to be in the Air Force. She got the high score. <laughs> Just so you know, guys, again, and I keep seeing crap in the background, too. I think that's, okay, that is a stud. Uh, just so you know, it's, it's right here, Ricky. Oh. Right here, this is the stud. All of this. Uh, if you guys see us looking up in the corner, we have a monitor up here. This was kind of a rush setup because, again, the office is not complete. There's still a freaking bed sitting behind us. There's a bed. That's my in couch. His, in, this is the couch. Do you know how awesome this couch is? I have a futon. See, I have a futon. I got a, I got a twin-sized bed. I still and have a metal a chair. chair. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm sitting on this shite metal chair while, while Ricky's in the uh, donated chair from what? Uh, Holiday Motel. Really, Holly will tell you this? Yeah, yeah nice. Mike, Mike, Mike donated this, so thanks cool. again, Mike. I, I really appreciate it. Thanks, that, Mike. <laughs> but, um, so anyway, she came in for an ASVAB, and she was 17. And um, so she took the ASVAB, and then they waited a while. Mm -hmm. And then he basically asked her to marry her. I didn't know this until about maybe like eight or nine years ago, when they were talking about you know, how they met and whatnot. And then I found out that when she was married, she was 18. When he, when he got married, he was 30. <laughs> I, I, I kid you not, when my dad was graduating from high school, she was in kindergarten. <laughs> uh, you know what, dude? I mean, and okay. So, my last girlfriend. Yeah. Excuse me. Lovely woman. Lovely <clears throat> Was <tw> Was 29. Okay. The one before that was 34. You didn't say that. You gotta kind of finish. Your the one before you. that was 21. I like how you went from like 39 to... <laughs> and the one before that was 24. Well, actually, no, you went, you went like 20, 24, then you went down, and then you went skyrocketed up here. And so, and like, you went like I, don't, I don't get too much into that age difference thing, but uh, I'm just telling you boys who's still looking for college chicks after you've long been out of college, or don't, never even made it to college. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yet. Don't do it. You're going to ruin your life. Yeah. Speaking of ruining your life, don't join the army. You're ruining your life. <laughs> And just remember, no matter how pretty she is, someone somewhere is sick of her shite. I'm gonna offend every freaking woman who ever that watched my channel, dude. Holy... Like, you know what's that? I have a 20% female viewing audience. Oh, you do? No, I have a 3% female viewing audience. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take a while and say it's probably gonna be 2.5%. Yeah. Percent. Why? Why? You, you saying something? Yeah, you got, you got that one midget. <laughs> He's a nice lady. Okay. Just making sure. Oh my gosh. So, uh, like, I got an email from my unit, Macy. Hey, we got drilled the third, the fifteenth, and the sixteenth. Are you gonna be there? Well, I have a choice now. Then no, I won't be there. <laughs> you gonna be there? No. No. And then, and then I got this text from my first arm, Austin. We have drill 
on this weekend. I want you to be there an hour before. I said, okay. So it's no longer an option. It's no longer an option. When you're in the army and you get told to do something, you better do something. You better do it. Or you better figure out there's extract exact have had have, 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 have. Take two. I I have a stuttering problem. He makes fun of it, which is funny. I'm like, and then we drop a funky, funky break beat, and it's like, yeah. That's gonna be the intro. <laughs> Anyways. What was that saying? saying oh yeah. Uh, you yeah. better figure out one how to get that order done at the exact time they asked you, or two how to properly say no. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Which are all ways to say that. With all due respect, for sergeant, I'm not able to complete that task at this point, but I will find somebody to help me complete that task. Right, get it done, and then you walk off and you make a private do it. Like, I have treat. zero cares in the world. Pew 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 pew. Yeah, I, I'm pew pew thug life all the way, dude. You know that. Pew pew. Got my thug life. Oh, seven, one, oh, oh, so so I think I think the the funniest thing was that that the, the Marine Corps had the Terminal Lance on like Facebook or not, and yeah. this is the sign. So I actually do support Terminal Lance because they're funny. They really are funny. So, just, so my three Marine viewers, hope we're not offending. <laughs> <laughs> as funny as like I'm in the army, I'm in the National Guard. I have not shaved. This is it. By the way, this is as much hair as I can get. <laughs> I found this out recently. <laughs> Like this is this is something that I would absolutely love to have. I, uh, I wish I could even grow your mustache, bro, because uh, you still got a better mustache than you want, right? I just what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna Photoshop this entire thing later, and I'm just gonna cut out your upper lip, and I'm just gonna be like, there's gonna be some sinking issues. They're gonna be like, man, them voices coming out of some weird places, homie. That is. So we haven't actually done like put the video up of me out in range with you, have we? No. There's a lot of f-bombs in that. Yeah, we I'm had a, to. I'm a changed man. I don't cuss anymore. We had to. We had to relearn. <laughs> <laughs> we had to relearn Ricky pretty quick. Uh, I run a PG channel. If there's an F word in there, I, it's stated in the video. And whenever we were out there shooting stuff, pretty much everything was F this, F that. Holy, holy cow! Was effing beautiful. Oh my god! F F F F. And, and which and, is and cool. And Clinton and stuff like that. Because I swear a lot. <laughs> You Dude. just team at work. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, you guys don't want to work with me. I... Oh, no, you actually do want to work with him? Just don't get on his bad side, because it's really funny. <laughs> don't get on his bad side. It's hilarious. It really is. A-hole. This one time... They were talking yeah, they... And the customer was just like, I can't believe this, and it walked out. It was the funniest thing I've ever seen was, in my entire life. It was horrific. <laughs> I did threaten to beat a crap out of a few people, so... Well, yeah, today actually. Yes, <laughs> I threatened I, both you and Evan. <laughs> I, I for, oh yeah, I forgot. I remember what I did now. With the company policy, anyways. Yeah, that's. I don't think we're allowed to speak about that. No, in fact, I'm not gonna even. Whenever he says where we work, you're just all you guys heard was. Because I don't know where we work. We we, we work somewhere. Yeah. We work on a range. It's called Bornout Project. Go go like subscribe. <laughs> like, subscribe. Description below. It's down there, some. I like how I pointed that way. It's that way. Well, over there. dude, you know what sucks is like, we're whenever we look on the monitor, we're obviously 180 out because of the way the uh, HD. H HDMI. Shut up. <laughs> the way the HDMI cable works uh, on this camera, it actually reverses the image up on the screen. Uh, we're good down here, but and so every time I go to gesture my hair, like I'm looking at my hair parted to the right. Or to the left. God dang it, it's, it's confusing. I don't know what I'm looking at. Anyway, I keep going to reach up with the wrong hand because I don't know what my hair is looking like. So I have to look down here. I'm like, oh yeah, there we go. But then my body in the background doing different stuff. And to you guys, it looks like I'm just crazy AF. But that's all right. This is going crazy AF. Look at this. God dang, man. What in the hell, son? So I went to... I, went to, I don't go to Jay-Z Penny's. We went to go in with my family. And How I, does this story go from I don't go to J.C. Penney's? Check it out. I'll tell you why. Because he might see this hair. I need a haircut. Obviously, because this is way out of regulation. Yeah, I don't mean to, bro. I think I have more hair. No, he has more hair there than I do here, but it's just like... I don't know. Everywhere. Oh, hang on. I, I don't know. My hair's curly. I can't, I can't do it. I gotta look in the tiny screen. But, uh... <sighs> No, so my family and I, so my dad works in Hayes. 
Actually, yeah, he works in Hayes. And so... <laughs> <laughs> keep that. Please keep that. Oh, yeah. like, they're like, keep it just like... That. I can't do that no more. I, got, I need like, like some like paste or some pomade just to keep it from going... Some back. Crisco. <laughs> Crisco. Baby powder. Not baby powder. Cocoa butter. I got a joke about Crisco one of these days. That's, that's my cock. <laughs> oh, that hurt. JC Penney's in a haircut. JC Penney's in a haircut. Here's a story. It is now story time with Ricky. Story time at Ricky Bobby's Corner. I'm going to get comfy because this sounds good. So, my dad, oh. worked, my dad works in Kansas. So he, I mean, he'll come back home whenever he can. And so we decided one day, let's go to Garden City. So I was like, okay, cool. I need a haircut. Okay, we'll get you a haircut. So we went, we went to... It seems legit. It, it was on Saturday. It was Saturday. So the bar shops are open for some reason. Correct. Yeah, I guess. You know. They out drinking beer. Bar Speaking beer. of which, uh, today, today's, uh, today's broadcast is brought to you today by Ch Chivas. Chivas. Yeah, that thing. Which is really good. It's, it's just nice looking. Can you see it, guys? It's, it's crystal. It's crystal scotch. I, I think, I think Chivas I, is a I, scotch. I, uh, I don't drink Chivas. I drink Johnny Walker, but I think he's getting drunk off the fumes. I already. think... Uh, Did you just fog up my glass, you pervert? You know, that's not fog up a glass. Okay. Back, back to the old story, actually. So, with that being said... We just had to go to Garden City. So it was my dad and mom, my little sister, and she lives and she lives with us because she's only 15. Okay. And then me. So we're just like, okay, let's let's all go to Garden City. So we're buying Sophie a bunch of stuff for I think like she's going to like a bunch of leadership conferences this summer. And so we're buying her some stuff for it. And so I was like, hey, I need to get a haircut. And so none of the bar shops are open. And mom comes with the idea, it has to be mom. Because dad's gonna be like, no, we're gonna just wait till next week. You get a haircut. Because <laughs> dudes are like, no, okay. Well, get it next time. Mom was like, you know, that's your JC Penney's. And they have a barber shop in the back. A barber shop? Uh, no, it's a beauty salon. No. Uh, Alright, I'll give it a try. So I gave it a try. You know, long story short, basically what the lady, what the salonist did. Hairstylist. Yeah, I think. What's it called? What's the hairstylist? Hairstylist. Okay. What did I say, salonist? It's salonist. My ex was a hairstylist. We should give you like discounts on your uh, <laughs> head. <laughs> but, um,. So I was on there, I was like, okay, I just, I, like, I just need medium fade, and I want enough to be able to put my hair to the side. So she did that, but what she did was, she used clippers the entire time, and she made one side longer than the other. So I don't know if you can see this. It's literally just like, this side is like all the way up. Oh, man. And this side is just like, wow. Wow. Which is fine if you're styling it. That, that, uh, that actually... That is terrifying. Yes, yeah, this. You know what you look like? Um, Albert Einstein. Just like no, dude. Was, Albert Einstein was a slob. Sorry, I'm probably gonna offend a bunch more people. Nikola Tesla fan. Very clean human being. But they were okay. Go ahead. Shut up. Yeah, cost you twenty bucks for a freaking. It did. Thing. I was so pissed. I was just like, you know how much I pay for this? Free. Yeah. You do yourself? No, Mark, dude. Mark. Mark Kenny. No. Oh. no. APO, you couldn't cut hair for shite. Your wife is a beautician, and by the way, Red, if you ever need to do my hair again, please let me know. I love how you cut my hair. Uh, Mark couldn't hold a pair of clippers and breathe at the same time. Because <laughs> he's fat. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. APO. We're, we're, we're kidding. We, we love you, man. Boys. We love you, man. So. Oh. I am. Oh, we're out of time. Oh, look at the flash. We're out of time. Boom. It's the flasher of doom. Well, if you guys can't see it. I'm gonna put it in the video. It's like, nah. it's like, nah. it's well, it's well. Like us. That's bad. Why is it not charging? I don't know. Cause it's shite. That's dumb. It's dumb. Anyway, dudes. Anyway, so I think that's it because our battery's gonna die. <laughs> Cause Ryan's a uh, jerk and he didn't get it charged. I, just, I, just, I don't know, like. Cause it's charged, it, there's a core right behind it. It's hooked up, I swear to God. <laughs> it is the gym, it is the but it's just, uh. Okay. Ricky Bobby. Yeah. My brother. Marnell, thank you for having me. Thank you so I'm much. I'm sorry I shot you in the back. It's all right, dude. Listen, I am solid <laughs> as a rock. I will recover. I think you realigned my spine a bit.
Well, that's good, because your spine's out of whack, isn't it? My, my spine all kinds of messed up. That's another reason the military probably wouldn't take me. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for being along. Ricky's probably going to be about a once a week type of thing. Uh, videos are going to start picking up again. Uh, again, look forward to him. Uh, drop him some good comments down there below. Uh, and and you, can t you can talk bad about me, I don't care. I'm, I'm one of those constructive criticism guys. Constructivism. Constructive, constructive criticism guys. So if, if you say something and you, you think I can do something better, then de definitely let me know. That way you know I can, we can implement it to the next video. That way he can work on his contwitticism. And contwit, yeah. yeah. <laughs> guys, we love you. See you in the next video. There you guys. Bye-bye. Boom! That was actually really good.